Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Liz, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you can transform your IKEA furniture into a brand new piece. I wanted to put a really long cabinet in my bedroom and just a regular dresser or cabinet was not going to cut it. Let's go grab the Ivor cabinets. Okay, you guys, these are the ones that you wanna pick up. I'm gonna grab three of them. Now I'm gonna get the ones that are only 12 inches wide. They also have ones that come out 20 inches. Okay, I got the cabinets. Hardest part is just loading them up and loading them in my car. I assembled the cabinets according to the directions, leaving off the doors. When attaching your doors to your Ivor cabinets, typically they'll have a little bit of space in between the doors. If you want your cabinets to close so that there's no space, you can do two options. You can add in the black spacers that are provided with the hardware, or you can create your own spacers by putting on felt pads and then putting the hardware onto the cabinet. I lined all three of the cabinets up in place. To hold them together, I just added in some clamps. And then I wanted to screw the cabinets together, so I drilled holes on the inside of the cabinets and added in screws. Now I wanted to make this Ikea cabinet look cohesive and like one unit. So I picked up some boards at my local hardware stores. These boards were 12 inches by 10 feet wide and I picked up two of them. Next, I cut down the boards so I had a top and bottom piece as well as two side panels. I sanded the boards down. Next, I turned my attention to the doors. So I wanted to do something kind of fun. So I picked up off of Amazon some wallpaper. I measured the wallpaper so it fit on my doors. I also picked up some ready to use wallpaper paste. Then I added in some of the wallpaper paste and put the wallpaper on the front of my doors. I let that dry completely. I then added two coats of black paint on the doors. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment the word of the day, which is cabinet. I turned my attention back to the cabinet and I painted the outside of the cabinet with a black paint color. I placed my top stain board on. Next, I added my stain boards to the side of my cabinet. I clamped them in place. That way they were held in place right where I needed them to be. And then I added screws from the inside of the cabinet. To put on my bottom piece, I flipped the cabinet upside down with the help of my husband, and then I put the bottom board on. I attached it by putting the screws in the bottom because since it's gonna be on the bottom, you're not gonna see them. Another way to make your Ikea furniture pieces look a little bit more upscale is to purchase legs. So I grabbed these wood legs off of Amazon. Now for this large cabinet, I'm gonna use eight. I stained them with the same color that I used on the boards, which was special walnut, and I'm gonna attach those to the bottom of my cabinet.
I attached all of the doors. I added inexpensive hardware to the top just by measuring the center point and putting my hardware in. I just screwed them in from the back. cabinet is going to provide so much storage for me and it was a fraction of the cost. Let me know if you guys want to see more IKEA furniture transformations and I'll talk to you in our next one. Bye.